this on screen what you see is the decision tree and in this short video uh, maybe I will try to explain the concept of decision analysis. A decision analysis is a method of analysis to quantitatively assess the relative value of one or more decision options like you see here textured in plant and uh, smooth in plant in this uh, decision tree so these are the decision options and uh, basically a decision analysis helps to select any one of them uh, quantitatively and uh, evidence based rather than just selecting any one based on personal experience so for example uh, based on the safety and efficacy considered together uh, it is the decision analysis method which provides evidence based answer as to which intervention would be better considering both these aspects of safety and efficacy together at policy level it identifies the strategies that give the best outcome or has the most value uh, decision analysis also forms the first step in cost effectiveness analysis. A typical application of decision analysis is when the problem is complex and the information is unsearching. For example, uh, there is a dilemma whether the intervention with more adverse events but more efficacious should be preferred over the intervention which is less uh, efficacious uh, and with lesser adverse events. Additionally, cost and patient preferences could also be different for the given intervention, making the decision uh, even more complex. For example, uh, some people or patients can afford higher cost and are able to tolerate adverse events while some would like to compromise on efficacy or uh, preferring lesser adverse events with low cost. So different uh, preferences of patients also exist while deciding any or one of the intervention. Now with so many variables coming into picture, safety, efficacy, cost as well as patient preferences, it is very hard uh, to decide which option to select and uh, therefore it is hard to be or balance them and to decide them um, as the better option so when a meaningful trade-off of advantages and disadvantages is present in the clinical problem decision analysis could be a method of choice to reach to an evidence base decision. This is a method that uses probabilities and expected values to be used as input values in the decision tree. So this is the decision tree. Uh, this forms the decision options. So when you list these decision options, they lead to several events. For example, this decision option leads to all these uh, events while this decision option leads to all these events now whenever these events are occurring there will be some probabilities associated with these events and therefore these are the input values that one has to put in this decision tree and they constitute probability values for these events. Now apart from probabilities we also have the outcome values as to what uh, outcome uh, or whatever outcome these events ultimately lead to. What is the value of that outcome and therefore these probabilities expected values are uh, the ones which are very important as input 
values in the decision tree and these probabilities uh, and expected values are derived from the systematic literature search of RCTs that is randomized controlled trials or systematic reviews. Other alternatives other than these sources could be observational studies or expert opinion or sometimes even analysis of existing relevant databases. Now let me show you, um, so you don't go on putting these probabilities in the decision tree directly. Instead, you can have a table uh, which has something like four columns, uh, which talks about event outcome health state in the first column, base case probability or utilities uh, in the second column, and maybe range of probabilities or utilities for sensitivity analysis and source. And this is the column where uh, you enlist uh, from where you derive the base case and probability values. Because probabilities are associated with uncertainties and reasonable ranges uh, are required uh, to overcome these uh, uncertainties, you also derive different ranges for these probabilities uh, from the literature or maybe through experience and you input these ranges in your decision uh, tree uh, here uh, at uh, when you are doing sensitivity analysis to see whether when you use extreme probability values or extreme uh, outcome values uh, whether your conclusion about the decision option changes or remains the same. So this way uh, these uh, uh, sensitivity analysis helps uh, not only to understand uh, over what range the conclusion derived are valid but it also helps to understand which are those uh, key variables that could influence the conclusion. So once you have uh, this decision tree constructed and uh, this uh, table being populated with all input variables needed, it is uh, pretty easy to proceed with analyzing the decision tree. Uh, in my subsequent videos, I will also uh, cover how to construct the decision tree using an excel add-ins called tree plan and uh, for more material uh, maybe you can visit us at uh, http colon uh, double slash research and research dot duhs dot duke dot edu slash site slash hope you enjoy this video thank you